Doesn't your brother like scream really loud yes. every so often? Yes. Uh, ah, let, me, let me go. Let me go. Ah. Like that. Uh, that was uh, a grab attack, and those things are really hard to avoid, actually. Evidently. Oh, that, how, how are they to avoid? Like, they just kill you or something? What was that? Like, what happens if they grab you? Does it do a lot of damage? Oh, it does. It does do. It does do some serious damage. It does some emotional damage. Oh dang, Nevis! If I were past this, why did you just let that happen? Uh, my. I did say my controller has some lag to it. Fair enough, I guess. I was trying to dodge, but like, I guess the buttons didn't register quick enough. Hmm. You gotta admit though, Jester or um, Reaper Jester is pretty badass looking, okay. doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Oh good, so it remembers that you still destroyed that so you have to do the entire thing again. I, I guess your controller is always suffering from emotional damage. Emotional damage. Lord help me. Well, I love place, that. This place is pretty. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I'm, I'm forget. I'm, I'm trying. Like, I'm getting my the controls mixed up with Sonic Frontiers controls. <laughs> Too similar. Yeah. yeah well, no. Here's the thing. The, the the air dash in Sonic is Y, and in this it's B, and the stomp attack is B in Frontiers. Where in this one it's Y. Y. Oh, great. So I'm getting the two mixed up. I I, I can see that happening. Yeah. You're not making. Oh no, I was wrong. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. By the way, the fight combos. Uh, you can actually switch characters in mid mid combo to keep them going. Nice. Are we just right back where we started? Yep. This is the this is, like that's the whole gimmick of this one. It's infinite tunnels going down. There was definitely a coin there. I gotta get that. I'm, I'm sorry, metal. I just remind the infinite hole of bloody what was it? Um, Stanley Parable Two. Oh yeah, the infinite hole that's not so actually infinite. <laughs> yeah, he finds the bottom. But hey, but hey, that was one heck of a moment. I'm not gonna forget. Oh, there was another metal. Oops, I got it, but I didn't get out of the hole. Well, um, it's like that, like that one British video where the guy's like, down the hole. <laughs> dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Where did this hole come from? Well, I woke up this morning, and there was a hole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, explanation achieved. It sounds yep. like, like something in one of those ASDF movies. <laughs> And a monster reaches a hand out from the hole. And he's like, and she's Ow. like, "Oh my gosh, what was that, hole person? <laughs> <laughs> where did it come from?" Oh. And he just looks at her like, "You know exactly where it came from." <laughs> Do I even need to answer this question? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I, you know, here's the thing. You know, can I say something about? I feel like British comedy is probably like probably one of the most funny that I've ever seen. It's so dry. Yeah, it's it's also it's like just so raw. Ooh. Well, every culture has their own form of comedy, in a sense. <laughs> Japan goes extreme, over the top. We go. We Americans kind of go more cartoonish, and British are just dry as hell. <laughs> Yep. Like polar opposites. Ooh. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Yeah, you know, the thing I... I was actually talking with someone about this a while ago. I don't like American humor. It, most of it just revolves around being gross. Mostly, yeah, we have we have a preference for gross out humor. What was that? Yeah, we tend to have a preference for gross out humor. 
Yep. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why... Why do Americans need to be so gross? It's we'll all, never know. It's all we have. <laughs> yeah. Like, we used to not be like that. Like, if you ever watched I Love Lucy, that old show? Yeah, it was a lot. Abuse. Yeah. I will put you over, I don't know. I will put you over my knee and spank you for trying to get a job. I think that was just a different, like, I think that was just part of the culture at the time, but yeah, it was I don't time. think that was meant to be funny. Yeah, fair enough. It was a different time. Also, I'm pretty sure it was like part of Cuban culture or something like that. I don't know. Who, but they aren't who Cuban. Knows? Who knows? Are they? I thought they were Puerto Rican. Whatever. It was 50 years ago. Seven. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Like, it wasn't me like the, the the purpose was not to be gross. The the humor came from all the stupid shenanigans she kept getting herself into. Yep. I still remember some of those gags. The freaking chocolate conveyor belt is just iconic. The chocolate conveyor belt that was hilarious. I still I still like one where um, it, it's one of the lesser known ones, but she bakes up bread and it just it's just so big that it, it touches across the oven. It, like, it, 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 it like smears her against the wall. Yeah, it smears her against the wall. <laughs> So ridiculous. And then Apple has to get a saw to get her out. Yes. Like that you'd never see that kind of humor today because now like if you ever see like the new Velma like the new Velma show or whatever. No. I didn't like the majority of their humor is just sex jokes and gross out jokes. Sex jokes, gross out jokes, and breaking the fourth wall because it's funny if you say it for a cartoon forty seven times in a row. Yeah. It's funny because it's funny because we broke the fourth wall. Like old style humor, like it was uh, old style humor of Americans was a lot of a lot of it was just about like tell it, it basically being nasty to people verbally, mm -hmm. like like Disney except less like old style Disney TV shows like on Disney XD except less crappy. Yeah. <laughs> Like all you, you you guys probably all grew up with one of those really really crappy sitcoms where everyone just like makes really really mean jokes towards one another. I did. While all those were funny. They weren't as funny as old like the old humor used to be. Yeah. Because it was just an it, old humor was just like an ever spiraling series of events that you since. Ooh. Uh, oops. Wrong, wrong button. button. Again, I hit the wrong button. Yeah. Uh, ever spiraling silly series of events that you've. Long lost control of. Yeah, you have long lost control. You're just desperately trying to not get buried by it, which is more relatable, ironically. Yep. Because life is a never ending spiral of, oh god, can I you not know, drown in this misery, t in this chaos today? Yep. How do I make it out of today alive? We'll find out. Yep. I, I, I like how after a while, Lucy. Like in Isle of Lucy, she got like a reputation for just being the person that was insane. Yeah. <laughs> Typecasted. Yep. She, I, I know uh, Lucille Ball. She later did a show called The Lucy Show. Have you yep. ever seen that? I have. Oh, you have. Yes, I have. At, at least a few episodes. Ooh. Probably my favorite episode of that is when she walks into a psychiatrist's office with, with a monkey. It says, "Mr. Green, I'd like to meet. Like, I'd like you to meet Mr. Um, this. Uh, what's what's her boss's name again? I don't remember. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. The boss. Yeah, like, the vice president of our bank. <laughs> <laughs> like, just he just looks at it and screams. <laughs> it's her most screaming. <laughs> 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 it's, it's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, was, I, I miss that old style here, man. I miss it. Like I, we got some of it back with team, like people like Team Four Star and Yu Gi Oh abridged. Yeah, just random. But humor. like even then, those like actually no, I think I think Martin probably delivered it best if I'm being real. Uh, Wait, he's British. Never mind. Well, yeah, but hey, you know it still counts for something. Damn it, it exists. That's what matters. True. Oh, uh, to get that for a moment just back to the Velma show while it's still somewhat relevant, the best description I've heard of that show is this simply a 14 year old's first self insert fan fiction yeah that's pretty much what all of them are wait can I go in this? is this gonna go up? oh wait I know what I need to do you need to be float and push your hot air into the thing 
Nope. Well, it's cool that that was a platform you could stand on. Ow. Oh, come on! I didn't even see that coming! Maybe if you opened your eyes, that would help. Yeah, maybe, maybe it would work if I, if I got my eyes checked. You got your voice back when I lost your eyes. Yep. I mean, to be fair, I have actually... I've had some trouble, trouble with my eyes in recent years. Have you tried opening them? No, like, I have, uh, I have severe eye floaters. Eye floaters? Floaters. You get those too? Uh, yeah, I think so. How long does it usually take for them to go away? They go away? No, okay. Oh, cool. No, so I'm not the only one that has those. Yeah. How many you got? I've lost count. Okay, so I guess we have that in common. I, like, literally everybody else I've talked to has told me, Oh, I don't have eye floaters. Or, oh yeah, they go away after like two two weeks or so. No, they don't. I, the funny thing is that I, I can summon them at first, sort of, I don't know. I guess I'm just having it for so long. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not like some, it's not summoning. You're just, you're just deciding to tell your brain to notice them. Yeah, right. And th gonna, thank goodness I can, I, I, thank goodness I can turn it off. <laughs> I cannot, because I'm like, I, I'm, I know I don't sound it, but I'm actually really autistic. Hmm. And I, I have a lot of focusing issues. Hmm. And I can't not focus. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. sometimes too. Oh yeah, it's it's not fun, but you know, if you gotta live with it. What else can you do? Well, you get your eyes removed, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Yeah, I could keep my eyes closed 24/7. That would be very interesting to try. Yeah, it would be interesting to try for like five minutes, and then you stumble across the chair. It's like, fuck! Why didn't I keep my eyes open? <laughs> 